So for today, we're gonna to be looking at Path of the Burning Steps. It got asked for in this comment. Obviously, uh, the, this person asked for more than one, which is completely fine. If you guys wanna see more than one exotic, let me know in the comments below. But we're gonna be looking at Path of the Burning Steps, its ornaments, how it shaders, and which one's my favorite, and then example sets. So if this is your first time, welcome. I usually cover the fashion side of exotics. I don't cover the gameplay because there's so many other videos, but if you guys do want me to cover that, let me know in the comments below. But I cover the fashion of the exotics, how they shaders, if there's any unshaderable pieces, the glows, I cover everything. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, really does help because a huge portion of people that come to my channel are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, help me sleep at night without crying myself to sleep, a subscription is definitely appreciated. Uh, obviously, if you like the video, but a comment, like sharing it with your homies everything does help so other than that let's just get into it so path of the burning steps has been an exotic that i have loved ever since it's its inception i think it's a cool looking exotic i think the exotic itself is pretty cool i guess i mean when stasis first came out this shit was busted because it was the only thing that could fight against stasis but again we don't cover gameplay but fashion wise this exotic's really cool. Uh, let's talk about how it shaders. I think it shaders beautifully. I will say the like the web around the legs and the thighs can get a bit annoying on certain shaders. But if you can find a shader that just does not care about it and it's still going to look good with it, specifically like Echoed Anger for me looks really good with it because it kind of ignores the web. Uh, same thing with Abyssinian Gold. It kind of just ignores the web. And then for the Sato tribe, it actually does accentuate it by giving it a white glow. But I still think it looks really cool. The only trouble you'll have is combining it with certain sets because it's a little weird. There's a lot of cloth to it. There's barely any armor on it and it has a glow. Now for the example set, what I ended up doing is I just went in full on like nose dived with the cloth. I did a casual look for it. I know. I know I do a lot of casual looks, but the first ever look I made with the Path of the Burning Steps was just a basic no armor look. Uh, hopefully I made a video on it when it first came out. Probably not, but I did. This is my very first look that I made for the Path of the Burning Steps because I, I just thought it's going to look way better with cloth, honestly, than anything else especially since the boots are so small, at least for, for female Titans. Uh, for the helmet, we're using the Contender helmet. So the spe specifically, we're using this one because A, it's very minimal for the armor. It's just a visor and armor on the sides. And my favorite part is the fact that the glow is actually white. So it actually combines itself with the boots themselves. For the arms, we're using the Intrepid Exploit gauntlets specifically because it has no armor uh, aside from the actual uh, Titan insignias on the shoulders. Other than that, it's all just pure cloth for the chest piece. You're using the Lux Parka because it's one of my favorite non armored pieces in the game. And for the Mark, we are using the memory of Cade Mark because again, I really like how this one is. It's very minimal. It's not in your face and it's just so small, the Mark itself. So again, I know I've done this look a couple of times in the, in these videos, but it's really just to showcase that you don't want to underestimate how good a casual look looks with certain exotics. Specifically for this, I really like the fact that the glow on the helmet and then the glow on the boots match really well. And then for the shaders, this is where it gets really funny because I'm using Crucible Red Jack for pretty much almost everything except the chest piece because the chest piece actually turns red with Crucible Red Jack and it turns a really like almost a neon red. So instead of Crucible Red Jack, I use Crucible Carmen, so that way it could be all black. And then for the Mark, I'm using Carminica because Carminica has a really good red. And for Crucible Red Jack and Crucible Carmen, it does really weird colors. So for example, I think if I remember correctly, Crucible Red Jack makes the bond like a purple and then Crucible Carmen uh, makes it white. So that's why I'm using different shaders. But yeah, this is one of my favorite looks for the Path of the Burning Steps. This is a look I would go for 
like just by default like this is how i would usually look not gonna lie the ornaments i love them but at the same time it's just so hard to find something that i actually love because path of the burning steps basic look although with other armor pieces is very annoying this specific look that i made i always go back to it because it's one of my favorites for the first ornament we're gonna be looking at is the alighted steps this is really cool i really really like this one uh because it kind of gives off like the the glow is almost like batteries that are kind of like cooling down type thing at least that's what i think it looks really cool shaders really well which is surprising because you know most of the time ornaments don't shader well most of the time but this one looks really cool i really really like it echo angle looks really good with it uh personally i'm not a big fan of abyssinian gold specifically because the armor pieces turn brown and i just don't like that abyssinian gold is way better with just cloth and then for sato tribe it also looks really really cool my, my only issue with this and this is technically not a stab at a lighted steps because this is also a problem with the base look of path of the burning steps but it's the fact that titans don't have a lot of pieces that have glow with them i could have just combined the contender helm with this ornament as well but i didn't want to use the same helmet on two separate example sets which thankfully i found a good helmet to actually uh substitute but i will tell you guys that the contender helmet is probably the one i would use for this set so for the example set let's just get into it we're going to be using the eidolon pursuant helm for the glow because if you guys don't know the actual visor is a glow which is super cool i really like that for the shader we're using Fr first frost it's one of my favorite shaders in the game and overall i really like this one because it is a i am technically taking this set from another set that i made which was my my srl look or my racer look and i really really like it it fits this one really well especially since again the the glows on the boots kind of look like batteries are kind of like cooling down so i that's why i really like this combo for the arms we're using hardy's control this is from oh man this is an old one if i remember correctly this is from warmind this is the yeah this is the ever set for warmind which is the third no second dlc for destiny 2 so this is an old one uh for the chest piece we're using the fit forbidden visage plate because i really like how it melds with the arms and the chest piece and the boots all kind of look like they belong in the same set for the mark we're using the lex mark specifically because for these boots if you guys have noticed that they're the left hip actually doesn't have a glow on it the the uh the glow is actually still inside the leg which is why i say it kind of looks like batteries are cooling down because it's actually supposed to go inside which is why i'm using the lux mark because i just kind of want to cover that up so this is definitely one of my favorites as well it looks really cool and i'm very very proud of this one because it just looks super cool i will say though the helmet is definitely something you could switch out for the contender helm which i think it would look way better because the glow would actually be more pronounced but yeah for the last ornament we're going to be looking at is the piratic footfalls this is probably the coolest ornament right now for me personally mostly because of just how cool it looks like the fact that fire is just coming out is super fucking cool so let's just let's get into it so just be aware that like the ornament before it the left hip actually does not have a, a fire coming out so just be aware that you that might bother some people doesn't personally bother me but i can see why it bothers people uh as for how it shaders it actually shaders really well my only gripe is the fact that the boots the, specifically the soles might be a little weird on the, sh on, the on what shaders it takes specifically for echoed anger it takes like this brown color for abyssinian gold it also takes like this like cream brown i don't know i don't even know what that is and then for Sato Tribe, it actually is normal, but be aware that it, it is actually a lighter color of the actual cloth. So it might shader really weird. Just be aware of that. As for the example set, I wanted to go with something that really just showed fire, which is why I'm using the Radiant Breaker Helm and the Solstice Gauntlets Magnificent. Those two specifically I wanted to use because again, the fire coming out 
But if you don't want to use the Solstice Gauntlets, you can literally use anything with a glow and it'll be fine. Uh, I think the Radiant Breaker Helm is very important though because the fire on top is very reminiscent to the fire that the Pyratic Footfalls is showing. But yeah, for the chest piece Solstice Plate Majestic, I, I love this chest. It's one of the, my favorite chest pieces in the game. And then for the mark, we are using the new Solstice mark for this year, which is the can Candescent mark. It's really cool. Unfortunately, even if you buy the glow, there is no glow to this. So this is just how it's going to look with or without the glow. So this is, I like this one. Don't get me wrong. Definitely really cool. I could probably change the mark to something a little bit better, but I will say that the first the default look and the second look are way better than this one not saying that i didn't try on this one i really still like this one and i am proud of this one it's just that i think maybe the solstice solstice gauntlets don't look that well with it or it's probably the mark i just can't pinpoint what it is but let me know what you guys think in the comments below let me know what you guys think about all the sets in the comments below because i'm really proud of a lot of these I think the piratic footfall is the only one that I'm like, I don't know, maybe I should have, maybe I should have done a little bit more or ha spend a little more time with it. But yeah, next up is going to be no backup plans and then we'll see what, what's open. Warlocks, you guys are going to get a video after the no backup plans and then hunters, it's your turn. And then after that, we'll see. Actually, I'm not, I don't have any plans so far. Uh, Solstice kind of sucks doo doo butter right now. So I'm kind of checked out of that i still have to get the glow for the hunter because i already started but the titan and the warlock i'm probably not going to do because quite honestly i'm probably never going to wear uh the glows mostly because the glows really don't interest me i think the glows are pretty tacky uh just just really tacky I, i've made a video on this explaining my thought process if you guys want to see it i'll have it up right now but I will have a the glow video. I, I do want to make one, but we'll most likely look at the glow from the Eververse store because I am not wasting my bright dust nor money on getting glows that I think look terrible. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys enjoying Solstice? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, be safe and I'll see you guys later.